Well, excitement in the air. We've all known about this day for a long time, and the stage is set in the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. Hello, everyone. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary, as always, on these big occasions by Lee Dixon. And we're approaching kickoff time here at the Estadio Metropolitano. It's Real Madrid up against Juventus. Well, I'm so excited for everybody, the fans, everybody connected to both clubs. But it's the players I'm so excited for. I've never actually played in a Champions League final, but played in other finals. I know what they're feeling. We can see the nerves already starting to jangle. How do you cope with those nerves, Derek? How do you settle yourself down before what's going to become probably the biggest game of your career? Well, with the level of competition in Europe, it really is an incredible achievement to make back-to-back -back finals. Only a few teams can claim that. Certainly not going to be easy, but I tell you, they've got belief, they've got confidence, and I'm pretty sure they all think they can win it tonight. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Keylor Navas gets the nod and goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Isco starts with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the starting lineup for Juventus. And there is a certain art to the way they play. It's all about defending with distinction and then playing on the counter-attack. Yeah, absolutely. Play to your strengths. If you're good at defending, you can flood the front of your back four, soak up that pressure, and then we know what they've got up top. They've got players who can hurt you on that counter-attack, and they've certainly got the direction from midfield to get the ball to them. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Paolo Di Bala waiting. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Now Matuidi. Incisive ball from Matuidi. Corner for Juve. Janic firing it over. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. I must say, the one thing that strikes you when you cover a Juventus match, Lee, is that they are very much a team for all of Italy, based in Turin, but Italy's club. Well, absolutely. The DNA of an Italian club is right there in front of your eyes. Everything they do, the way they go about the game, and the style they go about it in is just... I think they're just a brilliant outfit. And Ronaldo sends it in. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique, really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. It has gone over the touchline for what'll be a throw-in. It's with Joao Cancelo. Mario Mandzukic! And it's gone behind for the corner.
and delivered by Pjanic. Taking care of business defensively here. Super defending, you've got to say, but it's gone out. Carvajal. Gareth Bale. And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so the corner played into the box. Well clattered away. And the cross is very much on. I'm not afraid to have a go from long range. Just wanted to get it out of there. Modric. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Rafael Varane. The ball with Luka Modric. Isco unable to outfox the defender. Options around him. Dybala. And here he is, Mandzukic. Corner coming up for Juventus. attached but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity well just look at him he thinks he's in just wide Casemiro. Casemiro lost the ball. Juventus, the old lady. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Yellow card then for Rafael Varane here. Not the best of challenges, hence a yellow card. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. The free kick from distance just off target. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper wasn't as well. It was close. Karim Benzema. Bale. He's given it away. Pjanic. And Rodrigo Bentancur. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Goal kick. Now, will they be punished? Can he give them the lead? A Juventus corner forthcoming.
corner, kick played over. Well, that's clear. And Rodrigo Bentancur. And the danger clear. Modric. Just possessed there, Modric. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Isco has it. The ball with Luka Modric. Here's Ramos. This is Gareth Bale. Karim Benzema. Playing with purpose as well as control. Kroos. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. Pjanic now. Chiellini. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bale. Tony Kors. This is Gareth Bale. Modric. Look at Modric. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Ramos, this is Varan. Karim Benzema. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Carvajal. This is Gareth Bale. And dispossessed. Mandzukic. Here's Carvajal. Casemiro. And there's the whistle, half-time it is. A radiant Champions League final up to this point, Lee. Well, nervous, cagey, boring. Not so this final. This has been a really entertaining game so far. Looking forward to more of the same in the second half, Derek. Matuidi, incisive ball from Matuidi, corner for Juve, Gareth Bale, and in with a real chance, only the keeper to beat, Dybala, and here he is, Mandzukic, Corner coming up for Juventus. Corner delivered. Ronaldo! It had an invitation attached, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, Ju Juventus, the old lady. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Yellow card then for Rafael Varane here. Not the best... And Ronaldo takes on the shot. A free kick from distance, just off target. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper wasn't as well. It was Klopp. And Rodrigo Bentancur. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Poor goal kick. Now, will they be punished? Can he give them the lead? A Juventus corner forthcoming.
45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second, and he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Fail! Real Madrid on target. They make the first important statement on this colossal night. Well, very, very important to get your nose in front in a final. Real Madrid have done that. see that again once he gets into his stride he just strolls past players what a lovely solo wonderful effort this is and the goal again albeit from a different angle Madrid with the lead here. It's with Bentancur. Pjanic. Matuidi. Pjanic now. Juventus have given it away. Luka Modric. Crossing opportunity. Luka Modric. That is a tackle and a half. And a throw-in it's going to be. Isco. And close. And the block from Pjanic. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Corner for Real Madrid. He's driven in the corner. Keeper didn't quite do enough. Marcelo. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to the lead. Corner given to Real Madrid. Substitution time it is. And fired over by Kors. Emre Can. Emre Can has given it away. Sergio Ramos being harangued. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Real Madrid have given it away. Pjanic now. And now Ronaldo. Can they square the game? Corner coming up. Delivered by Pjanic. Simple stop from Navas. Mario Mandzukic! Giving the ball away one moment and then making a fine save the next. Yeah, we all make mistakes, don't we, Derek? On that occasion, it was the goalkeeper, but he made up for it. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick.
This is Varane. Navas needs to thump it away. Mario Mandzukic! And Juventus have done it! A goal for them! Level pegging! Here we can take another look at it. You've got to ask questions about the keeper's positioning. That's half of his job. He can put the best keeper in the world wrong side of the goal and he won't save anything. The earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. <laughs> Throw ins given. Alexandra. Space and time for the cross. And the cross fired over, but no real central pressure applied. Casemiro's got to be also... Oh, and oh, a chance to fire them ahead here. Straight down the throat of Navas. This is Varane. Marcelo. Bale. The ball with Luka Modric. And Isco... Marcelo, Casemiro, this is Sergio Ramos, running towards goal, one man to beat. Crossing possibilities, well far from the cross he had in mind, goal kick it is, here's Ronaldo. Paulo Dybala in position at the back post. It'll be a corner. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And a short corner it has ended up being. Emre Can. Ronaldo! And still, they are level. Oh, I love goals at the end of games, but I also love saves like that. Brilliant, brilliant goalkeeping. <laughs> corner delivered by Miralem Pjanic. It's one corner after another. the corner top-notch goalkeeping from Keylor Navas another corner and over comes the corner not far away at all with the volley well to catch it like that you've got a really good technique and oh so close Madrid. 
A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now what? Ronaldo! Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. And five minutes to go. Bale. Luka Modric. He's taken on his opponent here. And dispossessed. Can they hit on the break? Emre Can. And now can he keep calm? It's opened up for him. Powerful enough. But not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. <laughs> Casemiro. The pressure was on Marcelo. Oh, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Janic now. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. And now Bernardeschi. No real threat, you've got to say. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Clattered away. A magnificent save to keep the game level. Well, the chance to win the match, and what a save from the goalkeeper. <laughs> and delivered by Pjanic. Can they slot it home? corner can they take advantage of it And each firing it over. Almost his second goal of this match. But the goalkeeper had his own views on. They cannot be separated here. And it's on to extra time. Juventus, the old lady. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Yellow card then for Rafael Varan here. Not the best. 40. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Bale! Real Madrid on target. They make the first important statement on this colossal night. Well, very, very important to get your nose in front. Marcelo might still be able to do a bit of damage. And now Ronaldo. Can they square the game? Corner coming up. Thump it away. Mario Mandzukic! Emre Can. Ronaldo! Superb save. And still, they are level. Oh, I love goals at the end of games, but I also love saves like that. Brilliant. He's driven in the corner. Top-notch goalkeeping from Keylor Navas.
Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Clattered away. A magnificent save to keep the game level. Well, the chance to win the match, and what a save from the goalkeeper. And the drama continues. We're now into the first period of extra time tonight, Lee. Well, this 30 minutes now is going to separate the weak ones from the strong ones. Let's see who wins. Casemiro. And a strong tackle. And now Douglas Costa. And Bernardeschi. And with the goalkeeper. is how to apply the pressure this is Gareth Bale Karim Benzema Bale Bonucci keeping possession of the ball with authority Juve throw in forthcoming Costa with it. Here's Bonucci. Carrying a genuine threat here. And whipped into the box. Well, a slop. You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow. And then all of a sudden, you realise where it's gone. Look at Montrich. It is a. F Can they take the lead? And up for grab. And he's gone and scored for Real Madrid. Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure and you normally crumble. As we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? They'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. exactly what Juve wanted they've conceded a goal now the onus is on them to respond Costa with it Modric Douglas Costa and here he is Mandzukic the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Possibilities for Douglas Costa. Attention late at evening, it most certainly is. That's it for the first period of extra time, and still they are level, Lee. Well, I'm tired watching it up here with you, so the players must be exhausted. Can they overcome tired legs? It's the second period of extra time underway now. They have the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. And now Douglas Costa. He just keeps going. No let up. And it's gone out for a throw-in to Real Madrid. Casemiro. Rafael Varane. Here's Carvajal. Marcelo. He's given us away. Is he going to punish them here? 
It is a decent looking attack here. And a throw in forthcoming. But strong play here on the shielding front. And it's played into the centre. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. the ball confidently big chance to get them on terms that is excellent pressure high up the pitch Modric unable to hang on to the ball crossing possibilities well they were clearly on the receiving end so a free kick is next the referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence absolutely agree with that one To the box it goes. Well, it didn't have to be a 10 out of 10 from the keeper, but high marks anyway. Seven and a half, I'm going to give him for that one. Seven and a half, well done. And Federico Bernardeschi's in behind. Well, that was simply miles off target. Dear me. Oh, close your eyes when you're watching this one. It's horrific. was on Varan. The record winners of the UEFA Champions League have done it again. For every success story, there's a hard luck story. But Real Madrid concentrating on their own joy. We do love this competition, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. And with every winner, there's always a loser. But those players don't care. They're celebrating and to start the season, Derek, Real Madrid will look at certain goals and targets and the Champions League would have been one of those. Well, this is one of the moments you dream about as a footballer. The most coveted prize in the European club game awaits. That's what they've spent the whole season playing for. The Champions League trophy. And in 2019, as so often in the past, it's the property of Real Madrid. Well, these players celebrate this moment right now and later on in the evening with their families. All those double training sessions, all that hard work on the training pitch, and now all come to fruition. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? This is the best bit, Derek, it really is. Celebrating with teammates is great, but sharing it with your supporters through thick and thin, they've supported you and now they get their reward. This is what they set out to do at the start of the season, and this is what they have delivered. And now the images of these heroes 
capture for eternity. Real Madrid, the club champions of Europe. Juventus, the old lady. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Yellow card then for Rafael Varane here. Not the best. 40. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Bale! Real Madrid on target. They make the first important statement on this colossal night. Well, very, very important to get your nose in front. Needs to thump it away. Mario Mandzukic! He's driven in the corner. Top-notch goalkeeping from Keylor Navas. Let's see what he has in store for them. Clattered away. A magnificent save to keep the game level. Well, the chance to win the match, and what a save from the goalkeeper. It is a foot. Can they take the lead? And up for grabs, and he's gone and scored for Real Madrid. Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure, and you normally crumble. Crossing possibilities. Well, they were clearly on the receiving end, so a free kick is next.